What's up guys? Trying something a little different this time and we're gonna cover a really big topic in parts. I read that the uh, sweet spot for YouTube videos is right around three to four minutes, which is shorter than every single one of my videos. So I'm just gonna try to... Not sure how many parts they're gonna be yet, but hopefully each video is a little easier to digest, shorter and still makes sense. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna make an unfortunate first world assumption and just assume many of you guys are probably using smartphones. Phones have come a long, long way and I'm not sure if there's an official definition of a smartphone. It could run a web browser, it can connect to the internet, it can do magic tricks when you tap on it and it can send videos to your friends. As Louis CK eloquently put it, it's going to freaking space. They're awesome, it's convenient, everyone is glued to them, and they've made our phone bills extra expensive. I think the iPhone was the first super, super successful smartphone. Android phones are also badass, Windows phones, what have you, but I don't think anyone can dispute the fact that the iPhone from Apple definitely set a tone. New iPhones come out, you reserve it online, stand in a tornado for two or three days, pay Verizon a thousand dollars and you're really happy. In this series of videos, I'm really gonna try to give a good overview of everything it takes to make a smartphone. What does Apple do? Who are the other major players? What do they do and how it all works? Steve Jobs usually just starts off with this idea, I want an iPhone, make it happen. So how exactly does that idea get translated into this? There are a million steps that have to happen and we'll walk through each one, one video at a time. You ready? All right, talk soon and see you in uh, part one.